art, music, and pony rides. What more could you ask for? Today's 10th annual food and craft fair at the Range Rock Turkish Fair has it all. Here to tell us what kind of food there is, we've got two lovely ladies. I don't speak Turkish, so I'm going to let them introduce themselves this morning. So tell me your name. Quite All righty. Suedo. There we go. That's why I didn't attempt that. <laughs> um, but there's a big event. It smells so good. This looks wonderful. What is happening? Okay, it's a, a annual uh, Turkish food and craft fair. Also, we can name it as festival. Mm -hmm. So we are here representing Raindrop Turkish House. Uh, which is a non-profit and charitable organization, also cultural, uh, which operates in eight states right now mm -hmm. in America since the years of uh, 2000. So uh, what we basically do is we are trying to introduce the Turkish culture to the American society. Also, we are trying to promote the understanding of diverse cultures through dialogue and operation. Um, so we have so many events going on uh, next to the festival we are having today, like Turkish language and cooking classes we open through ACC. And also uh, we have coffee nights for each month with a different topic. The uh, upcoming one is on May 9th mm -hmm. uh, with a title of music. And also, uh, maybe the biggest event we are organizing is the Turkish Olympiad. Um, so hundreds of students from different states each year competing for the Olympiad, even adults. And uh, finalists are sent to Turkey to compete there with other countries also. Uh, so we also trying to be uh, take a part of the social projects here in Austin. Mm -hmm. We donate meals to the shelters uh, every month. Also, for example, the profit from the festival today will be donated to the um, safe place, the women's shelter. Mm -hmm. uh, we did this before. We are trying to donate to the best of fire victims, uh, hurricane wow. and the victims. So, as I said, uh, we are trying to be a bridge between yeah. the different communities and we are trying to prove that even we're different in some aspects, we mm -hmm. all can live together. Yeah, so tell me about some of the wonderful dishes that we see yeah. here on yeah. the table. Mm -hmm. um, this is baklava made with walnuts and feta dough, and this is nose pudding. It contains sugar, wheat, and bean, uh, chickpeas, and uh, some uh, dried fruits like raisin and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is the uh, cold ichli köfte. This is um, crust made of bulgur and inside uh, ground beef. And this is the um, carrot rolls, and uh, those are the called lahmacun and pide. They uh, basically made with uh, dough and uh, ground beef. Mm -hmm. I'm and liking the uh, Turkish culture so far. <laughs> it looks yeah. wonderful. Oh, thank wonderful. You. These are all sample, you know. Uh -huh. We have more, <laughs> and uh, we have um, some olive oil dishes, vegetable dishes like uh, uh, sarma. Uh, made with uh, rice rolled with uh, vine leaves and um, this is artichoke bottoms uh, filled with uh, uh, carrots, uh, peas and uh, potatoes and those are like sarma, they called dolmas made with uh, cabbage rolled uh, over the rice mixture. Mm -hmm. yeah. Will people be able and to try out some of these things at the yes, fair? Yes, okay. we are selling. And also we have our traditional Turkish tea, tea. and the mm -hmm. tea pot here. And here the Turkish dumplings. Okay. Yeah. So most important, where yeah. is this fair happening and what time? Yeah. Okay, it's between 11 and 5 p.m. today at Raindrop Turkish House. It's 12400 Amherst Drive. Okay. So we invite you, the team, and everybody watching us right now to come join us, share the fun, and as I said before, yeah. prove that we are different, but we still can share and live together. <laughs> All right. Well, David and I are going to try to tackle this food after the show, if that's <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll let you know how it is. We're, we're saving some for you, David. <laughs>